I'm Patrick Stinson at the big party to celebrate the second season DVD release of Desperate Housewives. They're calling it the extra juicy edition, and the red carpet proved to be just that. Give me the inside scoop. What is a Desperate Housewives party like? Things could get a little risque. You might want to leave before midnight if you want to keep your reputation intact. And Nicolette Sheridan just showed up, so that's just a walking party right there. Will anybody get sloshed tonight? You're going to, like, film us all, like, coming up later. That would be bad. No, we, everyone's good here, I think. You will see us laughing with the riders and drinking and acting silly. <laughs> yes, I am very robotic. Hello. Dropping into this big family, though, that was already uh, established, yeah. what was that like for you? It's amazing to go from innocent Chinese slave virgin to the biatch in about uh, 14 episodes. Um, it's, it's a joy. It's a thrill. I love playing a good... What is it really like for you guys in between takes? Ricardo and I actually, we have, we have a bet that we can break each other in the scene, and so if the camera's on him, I will say the wrong line, cuss at him, everything to try to get him to laugh. Usually we're just doing fart jokes and whoopee cushions, I kid you not. Oh, me and Ricardo <laughs> tried to whoopee cushion Eva and she bounced off of it because she's so light. What's your favorite moment or your favorite scene from season two? Kicking the nun's ass in church, that was fun. When my character got out of jail, that was pretty nice. Carl coming back into Susan's life, particularly when um, they had very, very hot sex when they weren't supposed to, and then they felt guilty, and Julie walked in on them. I thought that was that was pretty juicy. My favorite moment was the season finale. I got to um, to kill my grandfather. Lex Mont rocks. Felicity, of course, rocks as well. I've always really loved their storyline. Towards the end of the season, when when I thought that he cheated, on, like I, I was literally like reading the scripts, and I was like, no, Tom, no. And what can you tell me about season three, which begins next month? Three people die in the first episode. I get pregnant. <laughs> And, uh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, I can't tell you anything. I can't tell you. Yes, you can. No, I cannot. I yes, you can. Wait, camera, reporter, can't tell. Give us some scoop. Come on. You know me better. I can't divulge. And I hear that uh, out of everyone on the red carpet, you're going to give us some scoop. Go. i got to keep my job, man. <laughs> there will be some drama. And, uh... <laughs> In season three, I'm still Chinese. Eva and Ricardo are also in my shots. Okay. I'm telling you everything right now. Come on, I can you got all the you know. scoop. Come on. I, I wish they would tell me more, but it's kind of exciting because I don't know anything until I get the script the day before we start shooting. They don't want to tell me my entire storyline, and then I come to you guys and go, hey, I'm doing this and doing that, so check it out, and at the end of the season, I shoot myself. When you put in the DVD of the second season, what's yeah. the first scene you will go to? I like the scene with me dancing on the bar. That was fun. I'm really excited about the scenes I haven't seen and the deleted scenes and the unaired storylines. If there's like Lynette's unaired storyline on there, I'm going to go to that first because chances are I will have known nothing about it. What scene will you immediately go to? That would be me with the bee stings, maybe the roller skates, maybe uh, the scene when Edie has wild, passionate sex with Mike the plumber. Oh, no, that wasn't in that that year. Um, or maybe it's upcoming, perhaps. 